Good morning, super cool party people. Oh, that, that hurt. This was not how I was gonna start the vlog, but I was working out yesterday and I was like, let's go harder on the arms. And just right here is a little bit sore today, which makes doing that suck a little bit. Anyway, welcome to Monday, AKA Tuesday of the, Five day vlogs. I don't know. Should we should we name this? I don't know. Anyway, it was hard not to pick up the camera on the weekend. Thankfully, I worked both days, so I was able to just kind of leave it at home. But you like get to work. You're like, I should be vlogging to start the day, right? No. Um, but quickly, let's give you an update on what happened this weekend. So Friday, we know I was super productive. I wrote a lot of words, so that was. Fantastic. Uh, Saturday, I worked, it was a pretty long shift, and then we had some errands to run, and then it was D&D, so I wrote absolutely nothing, which kind of sucked, because, you know, I got goals I gotta hit. And then yesterday, I worked as well, and in the morning when I woke up, all I wanted to do was write. And it was a struggle for me not to just be like, you know what, I can skip Sunday, and just do what I need to do Monday, but I have stuff I need to do Monday. I, I seriously thought about changing around my entire schedule for the week just so I could write yesterday, and then I decided against it, which was, I don't know, we'll find out I, in the future, I guess, if that was the right call. I feel like it was, though, just because otherwise I'd be scrambling at work all week. And then, so I worked, and then I got home, and then I was like, well, I guess I need to work out. <laughs> and um, I had dinner. <laughs> And I'm like, all right, we're gonna write now. So I went downstairs, I'm like, I'm gonna write. I'm like, I'm kind of cold and I'm really tired. He's like, jumped in the shower. So it's like, you know, I gotta warm back up. So it's like, I'm just gonna write from my bed, which I, I'm not even gonna say in hindsight was a terrible idea because I knew it was a terrible idea to start. So I climbed into bed with my laptop and I wrote a couple words. And then I just kind of pushed the laptop to the side and closed it, set an alarm, and had an hour long nap at 7.30 last night. We're gonna blame the time change for that one. Just, you had to get that extra hour in somewhere. So then I actually got up and I managed to write all the words. Well, I think 20, 2200 words, 2400 words, somewhere around there. So we're good. It was on the correct story. We, we started the week out strong, so hopefully going forward we can keep writing I woke up this morning I looked at all my notes on the wall and I wanted to write again which is a good thing so hopefully hopefully it'll be the same when I get home I don't know it's it, it could go either way I could get home and be like now nah, let's have another nap or I could get home and be like I am so jazzed to write we'll find out I've rambled quite a bit, but I need to point out <laughs> the weather today. So it has been in the negatives and it has been sunny. And, and then before that it was snowing for, I swear, at least two months. It's just been a terrible existence, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, and I woke up this morning and I checked the temperature first thing as I always do. And it said six degrees. And six degrees is, is a nice spring day here in Canada. <laughs> And so super excited. It said it was gonna rain later, so I was like, you know, that's fine. I don't need to wear my winter jacket. I can wear my rain jacket. What I did not take into account, slash the app did not tell me, is it is so windy outside. It is so cold. I stepped outside the house. I was like, uh, regret, but I gotta catch a bus. So this is what we're going with. So it is very windy. It's cold despite being warm and um, it's supposed to rain, so that should be good. Anyway, I should probably get to work now. There is a staff meeting today because it was rescheduled from last week. So that's a thing that's gonna happen later. So I got about two hours to get a bunch of stuff done before I have to sit for two hours and just like bash my head on a table. I don't actually bash my head on the table, but sometimes I feel like it. And then probably work another couple hours and then go home and write. Right? Question mark? Hey. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. I've rambled far too much. Alrighty, so I just got home. My hair has gotten bigger as the day has gone on. I don't even know what to think about that. Um, so, <laughs> before our staff meeting got rescheduled for today, I had planned on coming in today because I had some stuff to do. And um, 
I managed to get the majority of it done in the first two hours before the staff meeting, so I was just like, eh, screw it. So I just left after the staff meeting, which is totally legit legitimate. It's totally fine. But now I'm going, I am struggling, guys. Um, now I'm going to have a quick snack, like carb load a little bit, and then we're gonna go work out. And hopefully the, the hurting here won't affect that too negatively because, you know, like if I wanna, yeah. It's a little sore. We'll stretch it out and hopefully that will make a difference. Uh, but yeah, so that is the current plan. I, I feel like it's a pretty solid plan, but like I said, I'm just gonna chill here for a bit, get a snack in me, and probably watch a little bit of YouTube before I um, get into that. It is currently quarter after 12, so by like quarter to one, hopefully. Finger, fingers crossed we'll be on that game then. Okay, we are done, got the little workout in, and now, like, I think the thing I most need to address is the disaster state my room has gotten into in the last couple days. I've just been so busy and working so much and then writing the rest of the time. It's just, that's all clean on the couch there. I just haven't had a chance to fold it. So I'm gonna chill here for a little bit and then hopefully, get my life in order, but we know how I am and it might not happen because we're just being honest here. I'm feeling a bit disheveled. Actually, you know what? It's not so bad. Um, I thought it was gonna be much worse. I, it took me like three years to make my bed and then I laid down on it because my tummy was hurting a bit, but we're doing all right now. I have not put away any of my laundry. I'm probably not going to in the near future if we're being honest, maybe later. Um, but I think we go upstairs because I think it's time to start thinking about food for dinner because I did that, you know, the other day I was like, I learned that I should eat right away after I work out or I'm sad, my tummy's sad. And um, I think that was maybe why my tummy hurt a bit. I had some snacks, but not a full meal. This cool. And then I want to get into writing. I've been wanting to write lately, which is kind of a nice change. I'm pretty tired now though. Maybe I need to have another one of those stupidly late naps. I was also thinking of going to the store to get some snacks after dinner, so we'll see. But food needs to happen first, and then maybe a nap. <laughs> Seriously though. <laughs> okay, so just a quick update. I have been freezing to death all day, so we, we've gone to the big hoodie. I also was sitting down and writing and I had this heated shawl, which was a lifesaver, and then I made some hot chocolate. So I think we're doing all right now. I managed to get a thousand words in before dinner. Dinner is gonna happen here soon. Um, but let's take a seat. It's exciting, I think. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't read through what I already have, but I think I finally got to a point where I can start pulling more from the old draft that I had than having to create everything because I have put in about 17,000 words without pulling much from that first draft, which is painful. And it's, I think, 11,000 words more than what I had written at this point in the store, like where I am in the book. I don't know. It was so I wrote like 6,000 words in draft one, and I've now written like 17,000 words in draft 1.5. Um, so I'm adding more like 11,000 words, like I said, which is great, because that is definitely something that I needed to do, but I'm very excited if I can finally start to pull from the draft like regularly instead of, oh, that little thought there can scooch in, so that's nice. Ooh, camera's getting heavy now, that arm workout though. Anyway. I'm gonna just grab my water bottle, run upstairs, and full time soon. So you know how I was just saying how I've been able to pull very little from draft one at this point. I mean, the gist of it, obviously, but very few sections. Well, I'd been scrolling through it, and I was like, oh, I actually really like that part. I should put that in the story. And so I scrolled up to where it would go in draft 1.5, and I had put it in already, so I scrolled and I looked for no reason, but that's fine. We're doing well here. I think I've got about 600 words until I get to my word count for the day, so that's not so bad. I'm feeling a little blah, so I'm gonna probably try to get to sleep early, but also I have to edit the vlog, which is, it was nice that I didn't have to do it on the weekend, because like yesterday I stayed up till midnight writing, but not so much tonight, but 
we'll get there. It'll be, it'll be grand. All right, such exciting news. We've passed 20,000 words in the actual book, and I think I wrote uh, math, 3,700 words, somewhere around there, so that is also super exciting. Is that right? No, 2,700. I don't know. I didn't fill out my goal board before I picked up the camera. Whatever. I, I do that at the end of the night. Anyways, I'm super excited. The writing is getting easier. I think it's because, like I was saying earlier, I can start to pull from the first draft a lot easier, but two, it's just getting into the exciting stuff. You know, books don't start here. I can't you know, they don't start there, you know, they gotta work up to there, and so I was starting here, now I'm on my way up, I think, so that's exciting, but it is after 10 now, and I need to sleep because I need to work again tomorrow, and I still need to clear off my bed because I haven't done that, so I gotta, I gotta end the vlog here crazy. Anyways, with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I will see you tomorrow when similar things happen, and hopefully my arms don't hurt as much. They still hurt a little bit now, but it should be okay. <laughs> Good night.